Hey, what's up guys? Joker here and I hope you're all doing well. Today we have got a few news stories to get through in the world of tech and PC gaming. First up, we're going to be talking about Intel's future roadmap and when we can expect to see 7 nanometer parts from the blue team and also a new game in the John Wick series, for, well, the, well the first game in the John Wick series I should say, based on the films obviously. Also it's an Epic Store exclusive, we'll talk about that. And we've also got a leaked image on Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint which is expected to get a reveal later today. But first, today's video is brought to you by LevelGo.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro for under $16, Microsoft Office 2019 Professional Plus for $80, and Microsoft Office 2016 for under $40. And if you use my links down in the description below, you can save an additional 21% off of Windows 10 Pro with the code KTL21 at checkout, and you can get 16% off the entire website with the code KTL16 with the links down in the description below. So first up, we're going to be talking about Intel. As I said, we've got a look at their roadmap after the investor meeting that they held just yesterday so we can get a better idea of what Intel is planning to do over the next coming years. All of us know by now, if you watch and follow my channel, that we are expected to see XE-based GPUs in the year 2020, but it looks like those are probably going to be for the data center mostly in the year 2020 and we might not see consumer level cards for the general public until 2021 and those will be based on 7 nanometer but it looks like the GPUs will be coming out first as far as 7 nanometer is concerned and we won't see 7 nanometer CPUs until the year 2021. Looking over here on Guru 3D you could see their roadmap where in 2019 which is this year we'll see 10 nanometer followed by 10 nanometer plus next year and you know as you guys know AMD is already ahead of them on this they already have a 7 nanometer GPU with Radeon 7 and we are going to see 7 nanometer rising in as, so as soon as June is kind of what the rumors and announcements are pointing to right now so AMD is well ahead of the blue team in terms of pushing 7 nanometer out the door to the general public and then looking in the year 2021 and beyond, it looks like we will finally get to see 7 nanometer and then refreshes of that in the year 2022 with 7 nanometer plus and 7 nanometer plus plus in the year 2023. So it seems like for the next two years, we're going to just see refreshes of whatever Intel puts out. Probably this summer is what people are saying right now. They're going to do a new CPU launch probably over the summer with their 10 nanometer architecture. So that will definitely be something interesting to look at. But between then and then until 2021, when 7 nanometer comes out, we'll probably just see a few refreshes. Probably another two, two to three refreshes as Intel likes to push out their parts pretty frequently. Um, they usually have like two launches in a year. So we'll probably see a few refreshes of 10 nanometer and we'll probably see core counts get bumped up a little bit to compete more with AMD who are increasing their core counts. Right now we know about a 12 core, could possibly even be a 16 core for the consumer level. So I would not be surprised at all with the introduction of 10 nanometer if we see the core counts get pushed up from eight on the 9900K up to things like 10 cores 12 and 12 cores and beyond. So that'll definitely be something worth keeping an eye out on and I will keep you guys apprised as soon as any new information comes about. Next up, we have the reveal trailer for John Wick Hex, which is based on the film franchise, which has already got two entries into it and a third one coming, I believe, later this year. Uh, the game is going to be an Epic Game Store exclusive, a timed Epic exclusive, I should say. So if you wanted to pick this up on Steam, it looks like you'll probably have to wait another six to 12 months until after the game actually comes out and it's definitely not the game that I expected to see I mean with the John Wick series I wasn't really expecting a game honestly at all but the it's very interesting looking to say the least uh, it, I guess it, it just really isn't what I expected I thought maybe it would be a first person shooter or third person action shooter but this is more of a real time strategy game kind of where you can like pause like it like time kind of stops between maneuvers and then you quickly need to figure out what your next move is going to be so that you don't get killed so it's definitely interesting and I will look forward to playing it for sure. It kind of reminds me uh, just a very little bit of the game Super Hot. I mean, it's not first person like Super Hot or anything like that. It looks very different from it, but I just mean how you have time to kind of plan your maneuvers in a semi fast paced action game. So it's definitely interesting um, gameplay mechanics, interesting art style and all of that. So I will look forward to playing this. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the trailer you just saw there for John Wick Hex. 
Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't know entirely what to expect from it yet, but it looks kind of interesting. And I kind of feel like it's going to be one of those games where you're going to either love it or you're going to hate it. I, re I do like real-time strategy games, so yeah, I'll check this out for sure. Last up, but certainly not least, we have a leaked image of the Collector's Edition for Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which is believed right now to be a sequel to the Ghost Recon Wildlands series. So this is looking like it's going to be a four-player co-op game, just like Wildlands, open world and all of that. Def definitely doesn't um, appear to be kind of in the vein of the older Ghost Recon games, which I personally much preferred. Um, games like the original Ghost Recon 1 and 2, uh, Advanced Warfighter, Future Soldier, those games I really, really loved. And I would love to see the Ghost Recon games go back to that, uh, because I didn't really care too much for, for Wildlands. I thought it was a little boring, kind of repetitive, even though the game was absolutely gorgeous to look at, ran like a dog. Um, but yeah, it was it was okay. It was kind of fun for a little while, but it got really repetitive really fast and the weapons all kind of feel samey and they didn't really have any incredible like weapon stats, something like Division 2 where it makes a lot of sense to keep playing and grinding so that you can get better weapons and gear. It just kind of seemed like Ghost Recon Wildlands was just a whole lot of busy work. So we do actually get a little bit more information on Ghost Recon Breakpoint by looking at this image here, which was leaked over on a German e-tailer. Um, for starters, we can see that it is a Ubisoft store exclusive, which is uh, kind of unique, honestly, because we usually don't see that on Ubisoft games. Usually, I mean, you might think that, that that's the case, but usually the games will sell on Steam as well as Uplay, and with um, The Division 2, it was actually available on the Epic Store as well as on Uplay, but based on the image that they're showing here, it looks like that it is going to be available only on the Uplay store for the PC, and of course you'll be able to probably buy it on um, the current generation of consoles as well. So that's something, yeah, well, I'll definitely keep an eye out. Um, they are supposed to be putting out a trailer today, I heard, or at least they're supposed to announce it officially. This was uh, a leaked image of the Collector's Edition. So hopefully later today we'll either see some screenshots or maybe a gameplay trail or something like that. And the game is expected to be releasing later this year, so not that much longer to wait. October 2019, they're saying, is when Ghost Recon Breakpoint will be available for the general public. So that's all the news I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it down below. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you've been here for a while, ring that notification bell. That way you never miss a moment of content when it goes up live on the channel. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Sarah.